Hello and welcome to the OSGUI.com screencast tutorial. This tutorial subject is on how to tweak your Ubuntu with a program called Tweak Ubuntu. It's a bit like Tweak UI for Windows or CC Cleaner for Windows or a few other apps out there that sort of tweak your Windows for performance and settings can do all those type of things. It's a, a multi-talented um, program. So first thing to do is just go to the website ubuntu-tweak.com or Google Ubuntu Tweak and you'll find it. And here I'm running Ubuntu 64-bit 9.094 Junty Jackalope and that's the latest version currently of Ubuntu. Uh, you can install Ubuntu Tweak on any derivative of Ubuntu, Xubuntu, or even Linux Mint. So let's go to the download section and download the latest version. So we always go for the deb file because we're not a geek and we're not going to make it from source code. We'll just get the compiled program, the binary, as they like to call it, which is the equivalent of the Windows exe file, a deb file, for uh, new uh, Ubuntu users. Linux users. Okay, so you can just double click on the file that you've downloaded from the Firefox download and it opens and then install the package. Alright, so brilliant thing about Linux is you've got to put your password in, so away we go. And wait for it to install. Doesn't take very long, so it was just pretty much two or three clicks, you know. I click on the program, click on install package, put your password and OK and that's all there is and then close. So probably quicker than installing uh, a Windows program. Alright, so now where do we find that program? It's under Applications, System Tools, Ubuntu Tweak. Or if you had something like Linux Mint, you could just search for Tweak uh, in the Start menu there and it will come up. Great. So, Tweak's otherwise hidden settings clean up unneeded packages to free space easily install newer versions of software and configure things. So here we can we can change some system information around if we so wish to or view that. We can change some settings of the application itself here. The application can check for updates. Here are some of their um, recommended programs. So they've got their own little software installer with it, their own categories set up there. And that will actually get bigger as you add more third-party sources. So I'm doing the audio right now in that program, Order City. So I recommend people download that. And um, I like FileZilla, so I always download that. I'm recording this with that program there. Record My Desktop, GTK. Uh, you need that genome partition editor to format a USB stick, which I do all the time. And um, I like I'm learning Java programming, so I'd be use getting NetBeans there. And uh, Ubuntu restricted extras. Now that's what I definitely recommend that everybody who is going to use the Linux or Ubuntu operating system to play DVDs or go on the internet, anything besides just sitting there doing nothing. If you're actually going to use it, you need that. That's all the extra stuff, all the codecs. It's like a codec pack if you're from Windows. And um, the, the other things there are VLC Media Player and Wine, which is your Windows compatibility layer. And I will do a separate tutorial, to a series of tutorials, probably on Wine later. Alright, so here I've started the download of all those programs, and, and but um, that was just a demonstration, so I'm quickly cancelling it. But it would probably take hours on my slow internet to download that many programs. Alright, so third party sources, you have to unlock this because you need administrative privileges to do such a thing. Alright, so. To get the latest version of OpenOffice, you need to tick that one because Ubuntu currently comes with just version 3.0 something. So that would give you the latest OpenOffice. There's, there's lots of extra things you can get here. The latest version of Firefox, if you want the latest one, because Ubuntu doesn't come with that either. If you want to keep up to date with Ubuntu Tweak, you need to tick that. And then um, whenever new versions of this program come out, it'll update Wine. So you can have the latest version of Wine instead of the old stable version. And um, Medi, Medibuntu, 
um, you need that for the extra codex and extra games and extra stuff. So they, they recommended extra third party sources that I usually tick on my systems and they recommend you to do it as well if you want to create a uh, highly user friendly, highly efficient and up to date and fast and modern operating system out of Ubuntu do a bit of operating system Linux alright so um, one thing I like to do to tweak my Ubuntu is to change the colors because I'm not really a big fan of the default color scheme and I like sort of more darker themes so we'll try that one out So maybe that one, New Wave, that looks nice. So to get there I just went, oh it's not me. So that's when you change your appearance settings, for those that didn't know. So um, I only have the 100k old ESL ones, that's why my downloading of the package information is so slow. On most modern broadband connections that would have been done in quarter of the time but gave me some opportunity to talk to you about Linux. Alright, so it's been updated, now let's let's see what new programs are there in the add in new section. Alright, but I'm on to something else. So I need to tell you about this, this package cleanup. You want to clean up your system, this is like the C cleaner part or disk cleanup functionality. So let's get rid of some old, these are stored caged packages that we don't need. And so that's going to free up some disk space by removing that. Whenever you update your Ubuntu, often new kernel that's like the core of the operating system comes out and it leaves the old version there too so you can get rid of that to speed up your computer if you know that the you're not, you're not going to go back to the old version because there's no reason to and those are the old um, stored downloaded programs and those are the old kernels as well so we'll just clear out the old kernels if you're doing a dual boot with Windows and you've updated Ubuntu lots of times you'll find that you get heaps of all these entries in the boot menu for all these ker Linux kernels um, when you've just really got one distribution so if you ever want to get rid of that just use this program do it this way go to Ubuntu tweak and clean up the kernels and away they will go and you'll just be left with the latest version that you're currently using at the time when you run this so um, obviously you can't clean a kernel that you are using at this time you have to reboot if you've just downloaded a new version what else have we got in here we've got some other set settings we can fine-tune whether we show this splash screen things like that show login prompt here there's an auto start customize it on where we can change the program to start on startup well I don't use evolution so I don't need that to start up so I can make this computer quicker by turning that off um, to say if I didn't have blue if I was never going to use Bluetooth I would untick Bluetooth if I'm never going to use remote desktop then I should untick that and you don't need to press OK or anything go on like a Mac. Alright, so we can make the computer more user friendly here by turning on those icons and make it more like Windows. Here are some other settings we can change where we can do advanced 3D effects settings by clicking that. Here's some GUI settings we can change. Well, we can lock everything down so that nobody can modify anything. That's pretty cool change the icon of the buttons here we can set um, associations with scripts and shortcuts and file associations so we can change the, the default type of things there are other ways of doing this too this is a fine tuned way I don't think it's required in any other easy interface you can clean the cache there and for Nautilus thumbnail uh, what else can we do turn off some of those power management features if you wanted disable some of these um, some of these other features to increase security so that's a rundown of Ubuntu tweak a must have killer app for every Ubuntu system um, don't know if it works on other versions of the buy-in it might or someone could possibly port it into the buy-in tweak I'd recommend that now uh, since I've um, anyway updated my sources for my packages now it's saying that I can update my open office and um, so that's why I've got 90 meg of updates ready to install just because I changed my sources through Ubuntu tweak and now the system has more updates that I can have yay that concludes the tutorial